Well, this dropped quicker than I expected, and for once, I'm not late. Today must be a good day. And hey look! It has the Sonic series' best villain, Metal Sonic. Yeah, this is gonna be a good day. And a good watch. Roger that! Who's Roger? He's talking to me. Rise of the Wisps Part 2 opens up with Cubot, Orbot, and Metal Sonic placing and setting up the last of the Wisp capsules on Sweet Mountain. Before being able to hand over a flash drive to Metal Sonic, Sonic dashes in and swipes it up and tosses it to tail. Metal Sonic proceeds to greet Sonic, his lonesome copy, with a powerful charge. We get a scene that reminds me a lot of the Metal Sonic fight from OVA, as Sonic taunts Metal with a pretty funny remark. This is awful. I know, pal. It's like looking into the world's ugliest mirror. Tails points out that the Wisps are already being drained of all their energy. Sonic starts to speed things up. He breaks free of Metal Sonic's grasp by backflipping him into the capsule. Another the funny part of this is Cubot being sad that Sonic said that he didn't really like anyone there, with Orbot cheering him up. Poor Cubot. I feel. This wholesome moment is broken short with Metal Sonic charging up and dashing towards the direction that Sonic and Tails went. We then see Sonic and Tails located in the first of many Wisp capsules on Sweet Mountain. As the remix for Sweet Mountain starts to kick in, Sonic breaks the first capsule and is greeted with hugs from the Wisps as thanks. Tails shouts to Sonic to speed things up as Metal Sonic is right on their tail. To show off the power of the Wisp, Sonic and Laser pair up and darts off as he taunts Metal. Orbot and Cubot manage to catch up and shares the details with Metal that the Wisps can share their power with those who they trust. Metal, taking this into account, grabs one of the Laser Wisps in hope that he could force it to bind with him. After denial, Orbot offers Metal Sonic another way of absorbing its power. Momentarily afterwards, while Sonic is busting open Wisp capsules, Metal Sonic darts into him from behind, revealing that he now has a capsule built into him, allowing him to drain the energy of the Wisps. After conversing with Tails, Sonic proceeds to challenge Metal to a race. He absorbs the Drill Wisp and darts off into the opposite direction. Metal Sonic follows close behind, leaving Orbot and Cubot in the dust once again. We are then greeted with a montage of Sonic using all the different Wisp powers to save the rest of the Wisps on Sweet Mountain. Before reaching the last capsule though, Metal has gained enough power to overthrow the speed of Sonic and darts out in front of him. The Jade Wisp flies in to grant Sonic the power of the Jade Ghost, allowing him to turn invisible and phase through Metal Sonic. Managing to break the last capsule, everything flashes to white. Sonic and Tails notice the Wisp lying on the ground drained of energy, in fear that they're too late. Metal Sonic charges up his energy and walks towards Sonic. The Jade Ghost Wisp once again cracks an idea. She flies into Metal Sonic, causing him to drop the capsule that was built into him, and allowing the energy from the now shattered capsule to be restored to the Wisp. In a last attempt of effort, Orbot suggests a new approach, an epic transformation consisting of all three of the robots, which just in turn is Orbot and Cubot hugging Metal Sonic's arms. Yeah, this is really menacing. Sonic uses the power of the Wisps to knock them and crush their plans literally with the power of the Cube Wisp. After the team beats up the Bad Bot trio, Tails goes around complimenting everyone on their work, and we get this nice little piece of cake joke. Piece of cake, buddy! Ah, oh, well that's a... <laughs> I guess an A for effort. Sonic turns to Tails seeing that he's concerned with the Miles Electronic. He states that he's worried that they'd have no way of saving all of the Wisps. Sonic, feeding into the sadness only to lighten things up, points up and says that they can't save all of them because the other Wisps that were already set free might beat them to saving every last one of them. And then the rest of the heartfelt ending shows Sonic and Tails running off to save the rest of the Wisps. Alright, now that part 2 is over and being the last of the Rise of the Wisps special, I must say that this is by far one of the best things I've seen in quite some time, the last thing being the Sonic movie. Compared to the first part, which was more laid back and tried to get a grip on the tone that they were going for, I can for sure say that part 2 literally takes the cake, given that it takes place in Sweet Mountain. From the animation to the voice acting and overall writing and tone of the characters, this was a really awesome and well put together special, and I hope you get to see more things like this in the future. Using Metal Sonic as the main antagonist instead of throwing in Eggman at the last second was really appreciated, as I feel like it's time we get to see more villains doing more things on their own, and not always having to have Eggman there to boss them around. Sure, at the end of the day, they still work for Eggman as his henchman, but it shows that they can work together and cooperate to try and stop Sonic without the help of someone overseeing them. It goes a long way in helping develop characters like that even more. And it was just really nice being able to see Metal Sonic take the spotlight again. He's a villain that I'd say we need to see a lot more often. 
The attitude for Sonic in this one compared to part 1 seemed to have been adjusted a small tad bit, but I still don't think there was much wrong with how Sonic was portrayed in part 1 either, to each their own. This was a solid special, and I look forward to future specials like this if any shall arise. Let me know what you thought of Sonic Colors and Rise of the Wisps in the comment section below. Would you like to see something similar to this for Sonic Rangers? What was your favorite thing from this, and is there anything you would have done different? Let me know! Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. If we don't hurry, we'll be too late to save them! Well fellas, I'd love to stick around and catch up, but I really don't like any of you. Yep. There, there, buddy. I'm sure he didn't mean it. I think we're all very likable. Right, big bro?